Hello party peeps, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori. Um, I forgot to record an intro for this video, but this video is going to be a lookbook based on my top 10 best rated books that I read this year according to my story graph. I hope you enjoy. Please let me know what books you loved from 2021 down below. Let's get on to the video. So for this first outfit, let's see if you can guess the book. It was kind of inspired by the title of this book. For this outfit, I wore one of my favorite dresses and I paired it with my velvet snug and this plain black bag. This outfit is thrifted, which I think is so cool, except for my jewelry, which is usually my jewelry. And the book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I love this book. I also love the movie and I think that it's one of the best book to movie adaptations. This book is written in the format of a series of letters that our main character Charlie writes to this unnamed recipient and we just follow Charlie's thoughts through his first year of high school and the friends he makes along the way and all the things he experiences. It's such a quick read but it's also such an emotional read so I would definitely look up trigger warnings before you read this book. The second outfit really has nothing to do with the book or its cover really, but it has to do a lot with some of the messages that I gained for this outfit. I just have on this Rama by Rachel twiggy top that I love so much, this camo skirt, this velvet blazer, along with this old Pop and Suki takeout box bag. I just love this outfit. It made me feel super confident and I loved how loud it was. And this outfit was inspired by Hunger, a memoir of my body by Roxanne Gay. This is another super powerful read. Not to make a pun, but I truly devoured this book. It was so enthralling. I would definitely check out the content warnings for this book. It just talks a lot about her body in childhood after she goes through a very traumatic experience in college and into young adulthood and to current adulthood. And I just thought it was so powerful. This outfit was really inspired by this idea of like a woman's body taking up space and being loud. And this outfit is just me trying to reclaim my space I would describe this next outfit as my cartoon character look, as my I'm trying to be a cool girl look. I have all the cool brands on. I have my like Sola sunglasses, my Majuri earrings, my Ozation Par skirt, and this cute little bag that I got gifted from Merit. I'm living that micro influencer life. This outfit is inspired by Slow Day's Fast Company, The World, The Flesh, and LA by Eve Babbitt. She is one of my favorite authors of all time. She recently passed away like less than a week ago and it's really sad. This book is basically a fictionalized version of her life. There are all these little short stories in this and each short story is prefaced by a very real note that she left her partner, her lover at the time when she was writing as she asked for feedback for him. It had so many small details that really warmed my heart as a California girl, like, you know, the soft mentions of traffic or the Santa Ana winds or the way that Californians think that washing your car will mean it's going to rain the next day. I just thought it was so beautiful and it really painted my home state in such a beautiful way. This next outfit is very inspired by the place of this next book. It looks very plain. I just paired this old striped sweater I have with some blue jeans, my trusty leather jacket, and this woven circular bag. And this outfit was inspired by Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. So Giovanni's Room takes place in 1950s Paris and it follows this young man named David, this young American man living in Paris. It talks a lot about like social isolation, what it means to be bisexual. And I just thought it was deeply moving. This outfit really just took inspiration from it because I just thought of like the stereotypical things that people associate with Parisian culture, like the boat neck and striped top. This next outfit is heavily inspired by the cover of the book. I decided to put my own spin on the Canadian tuxedos. 
the book that I would highly recommend you all read is Sally Rooney's Beautiful World, Where Are You? I really enjoyed this book because I thought it was super relatable to the current time that we're living in. It talks a lot about how can I live my life or how can I even appreciate small things in my life when there's always doom and destruction happening. The world is literally crumbling as I speak. And as someone who's very like scared about the climate crisis, I thought this book was so interesting, but also so comforting to know that there were people in the world who had these same kind of thoughts to themselves. It's not as dark as it sounds. My favorite bits of the book were actually the email correspondence between Eileen and Alice. I feel like that's where Sally Rooney thrives. Like that is one of my favorite bits of conversations with friends. And so I'm a Sally Rooney stan. I will continue to stan this woman. And I thought it was great. This next outfit features a couple of my more trendy pieces, my more coveted pieces, and that would be this with jean dress along with this Vivian Westwood choker. I kind of related this outfit to this book just because of like the cult following of the pieces that I'm wearing. And this book was inspired by Cultish, The Language of Fanaticism by Amanda Montel. This is the first Amanda Montel I've read. I know she also wrote the book Word Slut, which I definitely want to read sometime next year. But I love this book because I love cults. And this basically breaks down the way cult language has infiltrated our everyday vocabulary and our vernacular. It focuses a lot on American culture and American vernacular and American cults. So this is definitely something to keep in mind, but I really enjoyed it and I took so many notes. This next outfit is just me trying to channel summer, trying to channel vacation. So I have on this little set that I got from Nasty Gal during their Black Friday sale, but honestly, not a fan of Nasty Gal. Like the top kind of fits a little tight, but then the shawl thing is really loose. I don't know. This outfit was inspired by The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is the second romance book I've ever read and I loved it so much. I fell in love with Alex in this book. So basically this book just follows Poppy and Alex who are our best friends. Every year they go on a vacation together and then during one of their vacations they had a falling out. And now Poppy is going through like a quarter life crisis and she's like, you know what would solve all the issues that I have in my life? if I was friends with Alex again. So she goes on a vacation with Alex to his brother's wedding and they try to repair their friendship. Also, when you read books, do you visualize characters as they're written or do you visualize actors? Because I think one reason why I fell in love with Alex in this one is because I pictured him like Sam Claflin. Um, and I know that Sam Claflin is named Alex in Love, Rosie, so. This next outfit is inspired by another romance book that I would definitely recommend. Um, so I'm just wearing my Zara vest along with these Zara trousers. Hint, hint, this outfit could definitely use some tailoring. Is that a good hint? I don't know. The next book and the next romance that I would definitely recommend is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I just finished this book and I loved it so much. It had a lot of spice, it was really cute. So the kiss question follows this woman named Stella, who's like this amazing woman working in Palo Alto. And she hires a escort named Michael to teach her a date, how to have sex, because she feels like she's really inexperienced and she really just wants to get it right. And I decided to center my outfit around pieces that could be tailored or that needed tailoring because Michael's day job is being a tailor and doing alterations in his mom's shop. So that was my little connection there. This next look is pretty basic, but I was trying to channel like California desert vibes. And this outfit is inspired by Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion. Like Eve Babbitt's, I am a Joan Didion stan. And like Eve Babbitt's, Joan Didion grew up in California, but she grew up in Sacramento. This is the first work of fiction by Joan Didion that I've read and I really enjoyed it. 
I dress kind of more like a desert girl because this book takes place in three places. It takes place in LA, in Las Vegas, and then the Mojave Desert. So I was trying really hard to encapsulate that energy. I feel like it would definitely ring home if I wore my cowboy boots in the house. I really enjoyed this book because while the prose is limited, it is very profound and impactful. Um, I definitely want to read more of Didion's fiction in the future, but this was such an amazing starting point and I loved it. Similar to Eve Babbitt's work, there are bits within the story that make you feel like you're in California and there are moments and small details in this book that made me appreciate the landscape in which I've grown up in. This last outfit is definitely the most colorful outfit, so I went for like a lot of pastels, feeling very girly, so I have on my House of Sunny dress with this beautiful and other stories collar top underneath, and then for accessories, I just wanted to match my pearl bag with my pearl necklace. And this is actually inspired by a few characters in this book, and the book is Bunny by Mona Awad. So this book follows this woman named Samantha who's in her last year of grad school at this like very elite university in this very elite writing cohort. And within her class, there is this group of girls that she cannot stand. They call themselves the bunnies. They call one another bunny. And Samantha has always judged them until she one day gets a letter of recruitment from them to join their smut salon. And this outfit was definitely inspired by the bunnies because they're described in the book to always be wearing really sickly sweet outfits. I also just really loved this book because it made me fall in love with like the concept of the dark academia aesthetic. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know which outfit was your favorite. And again, please let me know your book recommendations down below. I would love to know more. I always love to add to my story graph. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.